Hi, what's up? I've been thinking about this whole Andrew Tate criminal human trafficking case fiasco about how the Romanian judicial system, justice system, claims that Andrew Tate used the lover boy method to seduce and human tra sex traffic these non-existent victims because right now we haven't seen any faces, we haven't seen any uh, confessions, we haven't seen any testimonials, we haven't, se we haven't seen any, you know, names. So they say that Andrew Tate used the lover boy method by being nice and especially when, you know, these old videos of him, they resurfaced, uh, videos of him slapping around uh, his ex-girlfriends that he used to use during his webcam business. These videos of research and these women came out and said, no, this was us role-playing, it's consensual. Now they're claiming that no, these women are brainwashed, they suffer from Stockholm Syndrome. Andrew Tate is guilty nonetheless. He used the lover boy method. Now, look, I've heard all these counter arguments against Andrew Tate, but now Mr. Showtime says, let us not open Pandora's box of asininities. Because what about when a man has sex with a woman and then the female, because this is the thing, this is bi biology, okay, this is nature. When a man has sex with a woman, the woman starts to get emotionally attached to the guy. And then to the point where she is head over heels in love with the guy and she'll do whatever it is that she says because now she, you know, she has an emotional connection with the guy. It's called the womb imprint. Shout out to Ron Worlds. It's called the womb, Im womb imprint. The woman is so head over heels over the guy, she will do and say anything in his favor. What about that? 